This is the place where the revolution starts, Brazil. Known for its sunny beaches and joie de vivre, it's the birthplace of the world's first male contraceptive pill. This is the Hebron Pharmaceutical Company. The people in this lab have been working on the pill for men for seven years. And now they have a name for it, Nofatil. First indications from clinical trials are encouraging. This patient took the male pill during the one-year trial, much to his wife's delight. I've used Nofatil since May 99. I had my wife's support. She reminded me that I had to take the pill at the same time every day. It was more comfortable for me to take the pill than for her to take any contraceptive measures. The pill took a weight off my shoulders due to my health problems. As I worried too much about not having more children, I work full time and I don't want another child. The secret ingredient of the male pill is cotton one of Brazil's biggest crops. Cotton contains a chemical called gossipol, which gives the plant natural protection against insect parasites. These insects can't reproduce if they eat the cotton seeds, as this renders them infertile. Professor Elsmar Coutinho works in Sao Paulo, one of the world's largest cities. He's Brazil's leading fertility expert and the man behind the pill's development. Patients from his clinic have volunteered to test it. It's important to take the pill every day, like the female pill. If you stop taking it for two days, it could stop working. So its efficiency depends on the user as well. We got interested in the contraceptive male pill made from cotton because it has other advantages. It's not only spermicidal, it's also antiviral. The secret of Gossipol was that it also interrupted the process of sperm growth and made it infertile. On top of that, it appears to have no uncomfortable side effects. The product doesn't increase the user's weight, doesn't modify his sexual life, doesn't alter his testosterone levels. And what's more, the effects are reversible. The treatment lasted for one year. Then, I stopped taking the pill for three months to recover my sperm count and to investigate whether it could go back to normal. The responsibility should be shared because that's proof of your love. The process of extracting the gossip pole from cotton has been perfected by a team of pharmacists and industrial process experts here at the Hebron Labs. The project is sponsored by the World Health Organization. Director of production is Marcial de Cross Paulo. Para fazer to make gossipol, it's necessary to go through three stages. Extraction, purification, and the most important one, the stabilization of its molecules. The gossipol is then filtered through ethanol to get rid of impurities. After that, the gossipol is separated from the oil and turned into a concentrated form under low pressure. This process has to be done really fast because purified gossipol is photo and thermosensitive. That is, light and heat could decompose it. The success of the Brazilian lab was to find the right process to prevent this decomposition which was the main obstacle to its mass production. Now it's ready for worldwide sales. <laughs> Professor Coutinho launched the male pill at the 20th International Medical Convention on Human Reproduction in the city of Salvador, Dubai. It went down well with the delegates, both amongst the world's top specialists in the field and ordinary Brazilians. It will be revolutionary. 
It's a contribution to the world. It's a good way to prevent pregnancies. I'd use it. Why not? It is indeed a remarkable story of scientific ingenuity. It has been known for over a hundred years that cotton crops were protected from insects by gossipol. What it took to create this revolution was careful analysis of why and the imagination to see how it might be put to other uses. It's very important to offer the public the latest information in birth control with great precision so that they understand what our project for Brazil and the world is about. People should only have children they are able to raise because our children are the most important things in our lives.